The real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out. Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah, kind, kind. Shalom, shalom. Seems like it's buffing a little bit. Uh, I'm playing with the stream. Hold on. All right, shalom, shalom. I think it was. I think we good now. All right. Oh boy, look like Satan playing. God damn it, keep freezing the stream. I ain't never seen this before like this. Shalom, um, Amaria. Can you? Is this the stream good? The video quality good? Sister, Baba Kasha, let me know, cause I, right now my, on my end it looks like it's freezing, freezing up. Can you hear me and see me well? Otherwise, I want to restart the, sh the show. Shalom Haran, can you, can you, is, uh, is the stream glitchy or is it messed up? Okay, it's freezing up, but you can hear me. All right. All right, as long as the sound is fine, I don't care. Uh, the video choppy, that's because Satan want to play games. They don't ever be like this. And it's just, it's just clear skies. Satan, Satan is, uh, Satan's playing game. So, uh, so we're just going to see. See if I can flip them around. Okay, maybe that makes it work a little better. Okay. Shalom. We're the real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in and week out. Prophet Son, the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Badash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, the Great Millstone, and GB, uh, GMS. Honor to all Akim around the planet. Lifting up the sin uh the the lifting up the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Kakadas in truth and sincerity. So uh this is Brother Uriah and then I have the brother Shaba. Alright. And we're just um coming with the lesson as you see in the title. The WEF, the World Economic Forum, says that uh we'll walk through here because he might have to prove it. And I don't I didn't bring that to clean it up. Um uh, and you can let him smell and stuff. We can we can walk in the however he he deal. Okay. Um, so the, the the WEF, the World Economic Forum, had an article uh, recently. I meant to do it um, actually last earlier in the week when it first came out, but um, Spirit had me going into some other things. Um, but it, they they declared that everybody got to be C hipped. All right, add C to the to the hip, and and then put a micro in front of it, and you got it. All right, we had to speak in code nowadays, which lets you know we're telling you the truth. If this was free speech, as the global government says we have, and you got people all on, on the internet saying all kind of madness of uh, dumb ass shit to um, wrong ass shit to nasty ass shit. Saw a video with a man um, with his anus in there showing how to pluck butt hairs out of his anus. And you can see his ball sack the whole night on YouTube, and they're gonna say, yeah, that's uh, that's not violating um, YouTube policies. <laughs> But I sit over here and tell somebody to be careful, you know, and don't take this, don't take that, don't put bad things in your body that might kill you. Oh, oh, that's medical misinformation. You know what I'm saying? So we have we have to speak in code. So you put it together, otherwise it's not for you. All right. But anyway, I'm gonna have the brother read from the article and then we're just gonna, you know, go over to a couple of scriptures and let you know this is about to go down, man. Time is here. It's about to go down. It's about to be the time of Jacob's trouble. It's about the time of the planet's trouble. Because Jacob's trouble does not Jacob's trouble alone. That sounds like a good lesson, too. Jacob's trouble. Good hey, good afternoon. How you doing, sister? Good. Doing blessed. Good. Yes, ma'am. You too. All right. So um, go ahead, brother. All right. Uh, this is an article from uh, Real Raw News. And it says, WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society all right so he said so that's the headline right read it again all right wef says cbdc must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society now that's the world economic forum now on your fancy phone uh google world economic forum for me and uh, uh, say what, a matter of fact, Google, what is the World Economic Forum? Okay. 
All right. See, a lot of people don't know the agencies, the economic people. Economic Forum? Yeah, Economic Forum. World Economic Forum. I got it. All right, go ahead, brother. All right, World Econo Economic Forum Company. The World Economic Forum is an international, non-governmental, and lobbying organization for multinational companies based in Colony, Canton of Genevieve, Switzerland. It was founded on the 24th of January in 1971 by German engineer Klaus uh, Schwab. So Klaus, which is uh, he's the uh, the face that's always on a, uh, on um, the advertisements and the articles that uh, that you know uh, or the um, blogs or news reports. You always see his um, his face and he's speaking as the authority of uh, all that you know of what he's saying. All right, so he, read read that again. All right. World Economic Forum Company, the World Economic Forum is an international, non-governmental, and lobbying organization. It makes me think of Elder Malcolm's lesson not too long ago, how all these non-so-called government people have more power within the government, especially if you're going back to the C, um, to the C to the vid, all right, the whole, um, you know, stabby wabby jet, um, shit that we went, just went through a couple of years ago. It was by people who were not so-called officials who were the authoritarians. How it, it's just letting you know the earth is not run how you were brought up to think that is where the earth is run. This is, this is a lie, all right? Uh, uh, surely the turning of things is upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. But everything that how it's supposed to be is ass back all the foundations of the earth are out of course, all right? So you, what you believe in, your, the narratives that you believe in are not true. All right. Um, if you go into the book of Daniel, um, the king, uh, the true king was Darius, but he set up 120 uh, princes and, uh, and then three presidents over them, which Daniel was the head of all of them. So he would get no damage. That's the same thing Esau Edom does. The true elites are behind the scenes running shit. And what they're putting out here through their pundits, to their to their uh, to the to their shrills and their their, their minions. It's telling you the agenda of the, the super powerful elite. They tell you in the movies, they tell you through the government, they tell you through these uh, World Economic Forums, the CBDCs, uh, I mean, um, the, uh, the Trilateral Commission, uh, things of that nature, okay? All right, um, we'll go back to um, um, the article, Baba Kusha. All right. Um, uh you want me to read uh, what, what, what's started under? started the top again all right wef says cbdc's must be we go walk back this way right. must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society so if you want to participate in society being able to buy sell being able to go to particular places you um um matter of fact go to ezekiel real quick 33 no Go to Ezekiel, what is it, 23? Which is um, helmet, helmet buckler and shield roundabout. Um, the Lord is about to bring in martial law on a stage and level that's gonna blow COVID out the water. All right, during the time of the lockdowns, we weren't able to go to downtown. We weren't able to go to certain areas. We were at, we had uh, me and my baby mother at the time when we were together, we I uh, went to go get some some chicken. Well, actually, it's a, it's a grocery shop, but she had her my heart set on chicken wings. I'm a chicken breast man for the for the records. I didn't give a fuck about no goddamn wings. But they ain't had no breast. They had no wings. They had shit in the shit around us in the city. They were all gone, sold out, empty. All right. So we had to. We drove to the next one. We couldn't even get off the expressway. The police had it blocked off. Martial law. We went to the next exit. Um, where it's another Walmart further away and they had that blocked off. I said, God damn, that's two different exits. So we kept, I had to drive almost an hour away. No, an hour away out of the city. Uh, all right, to Bourbonnet where the Bears practice it uh, um, to find an exit that I can get off to go to a Walmart out that way. And, uh, and even then they had, you know, slimmer pickings, but they still had, you know, more pickings than the one in the city. And we were able to get something, all right. Um, this is, this is uh, the times we're living in is going to be worse than that. All right, give me a, give me that in Ezekiel, and then we can go to Daniel's the 12th chapter. Go ahead. All right. 
This is Ezekiel chapter 23 and verse 24. And they shall come against thee with chariots, wagons, and wheels, uh, and with an assembly of people which shall set against thee buckler and shield and helmet round about. And I will set judgment before them, and they shall judge thee according to their judgment. So he said he's going to send it to you, uh, uh, helmet, um, um, you know, troops and helmets, bucklers, shields round about. All right, that's that's your you, you United Nations, that's your militaries, that's that uh, Esau Edom and his minions. All right, because he's got the United Nations now, so it's going to be French troops. You're going to have Chinese troops. You're going to have all kind of various troops. Whoever's part of the United Nations peace, so-called organization but they're coming in there with helmets <laughs> guns and and uh uh, uh m wraps and humvees and uh, helicopters and tanks okay and this is what the lord says the end game is all right the lord said the love of many shall wax cold so the lord of uh pick up some seeds for me i did just kick picked them up those are onion seeds people don't know right there here looking at it. this is an the alley these are onion seeds for, for shallots, this is actually the seeds. The shallots grow, they're actually underneath there. Matter of fact, I saw one over here to the left. Um, pick, pick those shallots up. These are actual shallots, this is actual food, right out here. Pick it up, there you pick it up. That's perfect. See, this is the time we're living in. You think I'm gonna say, you can't buy or sell to go get some shallots. You can go get the shallot like this at the grocery store. All right, and even though it looks like it's all, you can plant this and it still grow. You can plant these and it's gonna grow. And it's gonna grow and be like this. And you can take any one of these uh, stalks, these green stalks. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take some more of these. In. I'm taking. I'm gonna plant more of these. I'm gonna right on the side of the house where we. I already got them growing. Matter of fact, these are probably um, children of mine. Most uh, my my plant because I, I have a I plant, uh, planted them a couple of year, uh, years ago, and they fall back into the ground and grow. But then animals grab stuff, um, fly away with stuff, drop stuff. This landed right over here, and I guarantee in the time of Jacob's trouble, which is right down the corner around the corner motherfuckers gonna be <laughs> hungry as fuck going through garbage cans hitting alleys trying to go find food it's a and they're not gonna they're gonna be trying to do everything to find food they're gonna walk right past this and don't even know that right here is food right here and a food source you can eat all that and they just taste just like uh shallots and greens all right go ahead brother uh this is lamentations chapter, chapter four and verse eight their visage is blacker than a coal they are not known in the streets the skin cleaveth to their bones, is withered, is become like a stick. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for want of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful woman have shot on their own children. They were their meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. And and this is this is about to happen real soon. Coming to a neighborhood near you. All right. Um, and, and it's all because of <laughs> the powers that be. Esau eat them. All right. Revelations 12 and 12 real quick. All right. Because he knows uh, uh, Esau eat him, the so-called white man. He is the, the deceiver. All right. And that's what the word devil goes into. Deceiver, traducer, slanderer. One who's going to, you know, uh, basically uh, uh, send you off, destroy you. Okay. He's going to lie to you. He's going to tell you everything that you want to hear, but then not produce, you know, he's going to, he's going to deceive you. All right, go ahead. All right. This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto the great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. So, so um, the enemy knows he has a short time. All right. He knows he has but a short time. So, and that's Esau Edom. So that's why they're speeding up their plans. And part of their plan is to put the uh, digital currency in place to set up the mark of the B to the East. All right. All right. And then the Most High is about to destroy um, this place. So the Lord is allowing e Esau to do what he got to do. All right. And so now it's, it's, uh, it's the time we're about to go into, and they're letting you know it. And this is how they operate on the left-hand side, is to tell you their plans um, that they, they have, they're, they're intending to do. All right? Just like the Mosai said, um, declaring the end from the beginning. 
the Lord off the ri off rip told everybody that what he was planning on doing. So Esau, Edom on his left hand side is trying to be just like the Heavenly Father, right? Like Isaiah the 14th chapter said, he should be as if he's God, all right? Or he wants to, be, uh, he, he'll try to be as if he's God, all right? He's going to exalt himself among the stars on the mounts of the congregation and try to be, you know, God. That's why he got the satellites everywhere. That's why he listened to everything. That's why he wants to be worshipped. And this is all part of his uh, end game to get all mankind and humanity to, to believe and follow him to try to upset the prophecies that the Most High said that he's going to do for us and which he can't do. All right. Um, where are you at? Uh, verse 13. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man. Child. And so and, and what we've been under in America is a constant persecution constant persecution all right uh, and, and it's not going to change it's not going to stop until you have Hashem Yahushai come and saves us and deliver us and come free his sons right now Baba Kasha all right um, give me up Daniel the 12th chapter and the um, first verse because Jake is not ready my neighbor stopped me uh, she's an older lady and she just went to say hi you know we had we, we'll have chats sometimes and uh, she we were talking about the shooting that happened down the street at the Maxwell's, but she gave me information on another killing that happened, I guess, yesterday at Mariano's, which is a, a, a fine dining <laughs> restaurant, you know, a, fine, a, a high level restaurant. It's not the regular, I mean, not restaurant, it's like a grocery store. Uh, Mariano's is a, um, you have your regular grocery stores like Jules, it's like a Albertsons or your Myers or Kroger's, whatever. But then you have Mariano's, which is supposed to be the exclusive, you know, the stuff that got, you know, the stuff, you know, more exclusive things from different parts of the world. And it's like, uh, you know, a high-end grocery store. But um, a girl, 21 years old, got into it with her, her guy. And um, from what she was saying, ended up quitting one job to leave to go to another job. Uh, so she started working over there because they worked at Amazon Fresh. And then he, you know, you know followed her over to her new job. Uh, and was, um, you know, he got into it and he went inside the job while she was clocking in and shot her in the face, killed her, you know what I'm saying? Then his dumb ass went back to the crib and got caught at the crib with the gun and everything. Because once you do, once you wicked and you do wickedly, you, uh, there's, um, there's, um, you have to wait upon, these people are crazy, they have the love of many as wax cold. This is part of uh, that, that Ezekiel, no, it's like a second address, the 15th chapter, when it talks about the seditions of men, all right, that they're not going to obey their, their kings, they're not going to pay their uh, their princes, um, but there's going to, um, but, but for the lack of food and bread, we got to get that. Uh, where you at right now? Uh, Daniel 12 and 1. Get, the, get that and then we'll go there afterwards. Go ahead, brother. All right, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a fire in the world, such as never was sent. There was a nation. Uh, even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Right, the Lord said there's going to be a time of trouble unlike any other time. He said it's going to be unlike any time in, 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 in history. So that means you really need to go into history to understand this mystery. Did you see what they did to us off the slave ships? Did you see what they did to us on the plantations? Did you see what happened during the time of Masada, um, the type, type uh, to the type of, of, of the flood? Did you see what happened on in this situation, that situation? All right, the time that we're headed to, her, the time that we're living in, is going to be a time unlike any other time. Okay, so when you talk about oh, everybody must be sea hip, everybody must get a a, a micro rice size and technological, um, you know, injection. Into your, into your hand in order to, to be able to purchase and, and sell and to basically be part of the economic community, which is, is called life. <laughs> All right? You want to you be part of life? You want to be part of existence? Well, then you must take this chippage, you know? And that's, what, that's, what, that's why the Most High has to come save us. All right? It's going to be, the, they're telling you now. When Esau tells you and put it out there, He's going to do it. That means he's, 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 everything's already set. It's about to be rolled out. Okay, you'll see Esau do it all the time. 
Oh yeah, that we have, and we just found out this new um, bacterium um, 2000, and you know it might shut shit down. Two months later, yeah, it's gotten worse. We're gonna shut things down. Next month, it's shut down. And that Esau tell you and warn you, and then he do it. All right, you don't check his record because guess what niggas are checking? They're checking out Instagram. They're checking out TikTok. Not the good shit on there. The ratchet shit. All right, they're checking out their their, their, their neighbor's wife. They're checking out their, their neighbor's uh, um, uh, husband. They're che checking out whatever is uh, they can check out that's contrary to how about Shimmy was shy, man. They're not checking out this truth. All right? Go, uh, give me second address. 15. Uh, right. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. It's around 1920 something around there. 16, maybe 15, 18, 19. I don't know. Alright. Go ahead, brother. This is 2nd Exodus chapter 15 and verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. The Lord says, Woe to the world, man. And all you motherfuckers here, man. Only people that that does not refer to are the hopeful, righteous elect of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahweh Outside of that, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Okay? He said, Woe. And the word woe goes into destruction. Alright? It goes into destruction. He said, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. All right, go ahead. Calamities. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and, uh, and 7. All right, go ahead. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. They're telling you, yeah, everybody is in order to make. Well, see, the, the Revelation is the 13th chapter. The brother had posted it earlier. And I'll go up to just to grab that because I saw that. Revelation 13. And, and and to the one to the six and he calls it all both you know big and little you know with money and no little money you know you might be a slave you uh, uh you can be so-called free speaking in code uh, um Bible Kusha, i'm just trying not to get another youtube jail to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads all right and that c to the hip that that beastly uh uh micro potato to the chip but technological chip, all right? If you don't put that into your, if you don't accept it and put it into your body, if you don't uh, agree, you're not gonna be able to be in this, uh, to, you're not gonna be able to survive. You're not gonna be able to go to the grocery store. You're not gonna be able to go to the gas station. You're not gonna be able to go to um, purchase and, 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 and interact to keep your bills on, to keep your lights on, to keep, you know, your different things on, all right? Shalom, shalom, yeah. Kan Kan, Shalom. Kan Kan. Oh, you about to go to you? Man, see, you, you could have got. Are you going to camp too? Oh, you going to you going to camp? See, you could have got a ride. I told you, you, you wouldn't have been able to get a ride. Kan Kan. He got somebody else getting him. He going too. All right, Shalom. Kan Kan. See, that's why you be praying. I said that you, it's the spirit, brother. If you, you follow and operate in the spirit, the Most High is going to open up all the doors and show you the path. Now you wouldn't got a brother to come all the way over here. To go all the way over there when we had a brother right here going right there. <laughs> His lessons, we are the lessons within lessons have been within lessons, right? Uh, but anyway, uh, well, where were we at? Uh, second Andrew. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, for the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. See, when they do this, it's going to cause. The loyal um, Edomites and, 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 and company, those who believe in them, to follow them. And it's going to cause everybody who's against the system to rebel. You got to understand there's a lot of patriots. There are a lot of people who are um, contrary to the agenda of Esau Edom. All right. And I'm talking about uh, of Esau, of the different nations. All right. It's going to be a free for all seditions among men and uproars of the people. All right. And, and so they're letting you know what they're going to do. This is what the Lord said is going to happen from what they're doing. All right. Which is going to be ultimately leading to their downfall. Go ahead. All right. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor princes and the and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. He said, hey, they're, they're not they're not going to care. I right? say so it's going to be sedition among men. 
they're not going to pay attention to the popo they ain't going to pay attention to um the governments the laws it's going to be anarchy all right it's going to be and that's what esau actually wants so he can say oh that's why i need to uh to 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 lock you all down this is why i need to go do this is that why i need to go do that um it's this is all perfectly part of esau's plan all right go ahead a man shall desire to go into a city and you shall not be able that's martial law all right so you're trying to go um you're trying to go to a, a city you're trying to go do you do the spirit and power you have by shimei shai all right and you might and when i when they say a city don't think of it like chicago to cleveland from cleveland to detroit or something like that no you gotta understand these little neighborhoods are called cities man so if i live in washington heights which i do and um, Beverly, which is a couple of blocks, is another um, um, ward, another uh, neighborhood, another um, uh, aldermanic ward, all right? Then that's that's basically another city. You're not gonna be able to go, that, that's why they, what they got it called 15 minute cities plan. Why they're gonna come part, um, decompartmentalize all your current areas and, um, and to a range of, uh, what you call it, uh, 15 minute cities so it's right now it takes me about 15 minutes to get to 127th on uh, on the street coming from 95th um, area that will be 95th to 127 then you're talking about it takes about 15 minutes to go from maybe cottage to ashland that's 15 minute drive or something like that then that whole square rate um that square mile radius all right will be uh that square mile uh will be a uh, basically you're only where you can go to stores in that area um stores in that area you know and work in that area and the only way to get out of that if you have you know permission so say if you work at o'hare and you got to go you know 35 45 minutes away you're gonna have to have a permission slip <laughs> a pass a license see that's why yeah how the fuck we free and we got all this shit that we got to go through and endure and live in man all right and then you got Esau telling you, all right, in the article, all right? Go back to the article. I'm just gonna end up wrapping it up because I know the brother gonna be on this way. Watch, mark my words, he gonna be coming and almost right around the time we finish and you get ready. He gonna be showing up, watch my words. Uh, uh, WEF says CBDCs must be implanted under your skin if you want to participate in society. Keep going. The WEF has declared that all citizens must be implanted with a CBDC microchip in the very near future in order to be able to fully participate in society and do basic things such as purchase food and water so that's your your life your your, 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 your livelihood go ahead All right, I'm, uh, according to professor richard werner in the very near future citizens will need to use the latest technology such as a cbdc chip implant in order to access their accounts. Professor Richard A. Warner is an economist and professor of uh, banking and finance. He is known as a proponent the proponent of a new post-crisis monetary policy he called quantitative quantitative, easing. quantitative easing, yeah. Quantitative easing, which he proposed in Japan in 1995 as a chief economist of a British investment bank. All right, so uh, here the Esau and his uh, pundits are telling you, hey, in order to be able to get water, your sustenance, this is what's about to happen. So, hey, it's about to go down. The time of Jacob's trouble. All right, uh, but if we can go walk to the back, we're gonna put him back in the basement. Um, go, go, go. Um, um, got my cauliflower starting to come in. Hallelujah. Yeah. Little by little, okay. garden starting to get up there, and that's and they not know. See, knowing this is one other reason why I grow the garden, knowing the times that we're living in, I can harvest any of this red leaf lettuce hey. right now. See, 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 that's why he's going in this cage. Yeah, no, Mr. Biggs, move, 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 move. See, he's gonna have to learn. You gonna go to his go to his kennel. Okay. I'll take uh, take the leaf off. And then we, uh, as soon as we, uh, matter of fact, just hold on to him. You don't want too much, Mr. Biggs. Now you got mess up my beats. Move, move. Just walk out. He's gonna move with you. So like you. All right. 
So, you know, while the Lord is about to get it, it's about to go down. It's about to get really good and grimy. Um, people are not going to be able to uh, uh, buy and sell and do the things that they normally do. Okay, now let, let them drink this water. Let them drink this water. All right. So take heed to these words. Pass it on to those around. All right. The Most High is about to make some major moves right now. It's lucky for the dog acting as a little puppy. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep her or not. And you see she's making all all that racket a little bitty thing. All right. With her mama. Yeah, I, I'm talking to you, Cookies and Cream. All right. But what are, what are you going to do? Are you prepared? Spiritually, mentally? All right. Are you prepared? Are you ready to... Uh, Stop, 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 stop. All right. And that's my new that's my new new addition, it's my baby chicken, it's my new one. All right, they're not they're not ready to get into uh the big house yet. <laughs> they're not ready for the big house yet. Hold on, Miss Cookies. That's her little crying baby ass. But um, um for Esau to reveal that his plan and letting it know let it be known, it's it's imperative for us to be prepared spiritually, mentally, physically, and um, prayed up because um, it's about to go down. So I want to go ahead and do a lesson on that. Hopefully it's been edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Kakadash. Hey, be prepared spiritually, mentally. If you can, you still got time to get you some buckets, grow some food. They don't take, it doesn't, it only takes weeks to a couple of months to produce fruit. All right, Shemai! That's why I'm, I'm gonna. That's why she's not gonna last. I'm gonna get rid of her. I'm gonna give it somebody who can deal with that. I can't deal with all of that. Um, but I'm looking at my my red leaf romaine lettuce coming in uh, again after being harvested already. To I see my cucumbers are starting to get uh, get a little big, and um, they're starting to vine out flower. So they're gonna start producing very soon. Um, the, those beets are already ready. I can go dig them up. As some of these carrots I know are already ready. I can go dig them up. I'm not going to dig them up yet. I want them to seed and um, pop it there. See, I want them to seed. And um, uh, and um, once they seed, they're going to drop their seeds back into the ground. And I can harvest those seeds and let some fall back into the ground. You know, this is for you, St. Benji. He said he have not ever see the bumblebees no more. Well, put a garden up, which he is trying to do in his backyard. Um, they're gonna be there. I, I see the um, uh, we saw a praying mantis yesterday, uh, bumblebees, butterflies. I saw even kind of butterflies I've never seen before. You can see uh, sunflower seeds almost getting ready. They're, they're gonna be ready in another couple of weeks to a month or so. Um, the heavier and readier they are, they start to bow down and fray like that. And it's gonna be nothing but seeds. So, hey, stock up spiritually, spiritually, you know, mentally, physically. You know what times we're living in. You're going to see that all the time. All right, you know, you're going to see he, he, the times so it's about to go down. So be ready. Hopefully, it's been edifying to the spirit and power. All praise is honor and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. Bashem Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles out in New York, the great millstone at GMS. Honor so I can run the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. So with that, we're going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. Shalom, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakadash.